What's up guys, it's Lefko again, and I'm here to show you how to build my Advanced Enchantment Room, version 2. Now, since the showcase, um, a few things have changed. Number one, um, structural-wise, it's gotten smaller, and, um, functionally, functionality, it's gotten a lot faster. And, uh, another thing that changed is that, for 1.3, which is what this is for built, this is 1.3, so it'll only work in there. Actually, it'll work in every update, it's just that this is made for 1.3. Um, we were told that in 1.3, level 50 no longer would happen. We no longer need to go up to level 50. We need to go up to level 30. And then we were told we only need half of our bookshelves. Now, that was a pretty good thing. That means that less uh, resources... But that completely made my last um, version obsolete because it wouldn't need the top layer. Now, right now, it does have 15 bookshelves. As if you can count, this one doesn't count. It's there for aesthetics, but it doesn't count because this is in the way and it blocks it. And it only comes up because of a weird bud switch. That's just to clarify so people don't go batch insane. Anyway. Let's count again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It's exactly 15 bookshelves. And this, again, is to just look pretty. So, yeah, um, just for a little demonstration, you can literally pick which ones you want to come up or not. So, let's see, I don't want a whole bunch of these to come up. So, only a few of them came up, because these are up. This is up, this is up, so these two came up. This one always comes up. That one's down. That's up, that's up, that's up, that's up. And everything's up. So, yeah, whoop. Why don't we just get right into how to build this crazy monkey of a potato thing. So, let's get started. First thing that you want to do is you want to make a 3x3 three three platform, like so. And put an enchanting table in the middle. At this point, you no longer need it. Then, go under it and break the middle block. Okay? Then, go under it once again and place a torch on any one of these four blocks over there. And that block, this one over here is the one that we place the torch on, so that's where we're going to press. That's where we're going to put the pressure plate right there. Okay? Next, what you want to do is you want to give one, two, th three blocks down and break the top two. Then place a piston, place a sticky piston rather, and make a ring of it all the way around. All of them, remember, have to be facing up. If they're not, then it's just, well, I bet you can figure it out. It's really not going to work. Oh, damn it all. Oh, my God. Okay, okay. I want you have that. Then you want to place your bookshelves on all of these. Okay, good. Now once you have that all set up, then what you want to do is you want to make a three long platform around the entire thing. Give me a minute. Okay, three long platform. Okay, I'll just finish that up. Three long platform set up. Go back under the whole thing, like this. Place a block under there and another one, and break the upper one. Then make this sort of pyramid shape thing, like I'm doing here. Okay. Now once you have this set up, it should look just like this. Place redstone on all of these blocks. On, all to on, all on top of all of these blocks. I can't move! Okay, here we go. There we go. You suck. Uh, now once you have that all set up, then you want to go onto all four of these sides, and over here, go out eight blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And with that, it also equals nine. So then you place redstone on all this. Okay. And then at the end, once you've gotten nine, then you go again... And then go up a block like that, that'll be 10, and place a torch on that. So do it for all four sides. 
torch is down, then what you want to do is you want to place a small platform around this torch on each, on all four sides. So it should look like this. Now, the only thing is, this is where it gets a little weird. You can't do this on all four sides. On the side where there's, when there, where the pressure plate is, and the opposite side of it, think of it like this. It's going to come up like this, okay? And there's going to be five levers behind you to control each one of these five. So, on the side where the pressure plate is, and on the opposite side of it, this is what you're supposed to look like. Okay. It's five instead of three, because on the three side, it's three, as you can see. And also, another thing to note, on the side with the pressure plate, we don't need to add any redstone for this one over here. So, you can just completely remove the middle one over there, and it's completely unnecessary. But actually, I think you do need it anyway to block off redstone later. So, that's necessary. So, on the opposite side over here, make another five. So, one, like so. Okay. And on the side with the three, which is opposite that one, place another three. I know this might seem pretty obvious to most of you, but to some people who don't understand redstone, they need this um, this exact sort of thing. Okay? And once you have that set up, then you want to place redstone like this. And then, uh, yeah, five repeaters. This is on the side that does not have the pressure plate, but on the opposite side that does have the pressure plate, this is all you have to do. You go there, 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 and there, and you actually don't have. Oh, make sure there's no tick on that. You don't have to have. You don't have to have a redstone repeater over here. On the side with the three, pick us another three over here, like that. And then on the other side with the three, two, three, place another two like that. Okay. Now that we have that all set up, this is where we place the levers and such. So we'll start with the side with the pressure plate. So turn around, go over here, and build up three blocks, and then break the other two on the bottom. Okay, then place two blocks on either side. Now this is the side with the pressure plate. So what you want to do is you want to place five, well, four uh, levers. Okay, so it should look like that. This is only for the side with the pressure plate. Every other one needs a, needs a lever in the middle. Okay, so then the side with the other five that doesn't have the pressure plate, here is just an example again. Okay, place uh, place five levers and five blocks like so. And the side with the three, if it's not obvious already, you have to place three blocks and three levers. There we go. And then go to the opposite side again and do the exact same thing. Okay. Oop, it appears to be turning nighttime. So, actually, let's get into lighting really quick. So, what you want to do is you want to take quick glowstone and in every corner like so place a block of it this will keep everything adequately lit so you don't have any spawns in here see look block like seven okay so once it's still right over here it's not good so what you want to do is since we can we can actually just place four glowstone in there and now you won't get any spawns on this platform okay now I'll just quickly sleep and make it daytime, and we can continue. So, this is how I'm going to explain all four sides. They're all essentially the same, except this five side is the only one that has everything involved. What I mean by that is that it has all five things, all five levers, and the only difference between the five one and the three one just remember this, all you have to do is shave off the sides, because there's only three things. You're not going to have to put a torch here or here, because there is nothing over there. So, yeah, and that's how it works for the three sides. So, behind all the blocks, you want to place torches. And this is the side that has the pressure plate, so what you want to do is you don't want to put a torch in the middle, you want to skip it. Okay, so as I said, I'm going to use this as a template. The only difference between this five side and that five side is that you just basically have to shave off the middle platform that you place. So here, this is what I mean. So let's just get started on this. On the outer ones, always for the five, which it's basically alternating. So on the outer ones of the five, oh, 
you want to go down a block like that and then place place another one then you want to go up and then you want to go that like that then you want to go up and you want to go like that so it should look like this now the three side over here isn't going to have these two platforms it's not going to have these two or these two it's going to be the exact same thing just without this one and that one okay so continue Oh yeah, and the five side just isn't going to have this middle one with the pressure plate. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to place redstone on all of these blocks right here. Now as you can see, they are connecting, so just to stop them from connecting, place a block like that. And you should have five pieces of redstone doing that. So then what you want to do is you want to go to the, to the middle block and place five pistons facing downward. But I'm not going to stress this enough, but you know what? I will. Three side just isn't going to have this or this. The side on the five over there just isn't going to have this middle one. It's going to build the exact same way, just without this middle one. So disregard it when I tell you to. Okay, now that you have that all set up, just freaking god damn it. Okay, just place five blocks like that. Okay, you aren't going to need this middle one for the other for the other five side. Okay, now this is how I remember this. Okay. <clears throat> the middle one always has to be looking like this. Has to be connected to the block, like, horizontally. And then you alternate again. So it should start looking like something like, something like this. So it should look like this. It always alternates. This is how I'm able to use less redstone. Okay. So then what you want to do is, okay, on the middle one over here, you don't. You have to place a block on top over there, right next to it, and then alternate again. It should look like that. Okay. So then what you want to do is you want to complete the lines by going all the way down. Okay, complete the lines. There we go. Okay. Now, while we're completing the lines, we're also blocking off the main power source, which is going to be used later. Okay. So now what you want to do is you want to place... Oh, I forgot. Over here. Over here. Also place a block, so that way it can't connect. So now you want to place redstone on all these blocks as you can see they're connecting but all we're going to do is just cover them up with the blocks so they don't connect now as I said there's connections and we don't want that we want all the connections to be gone so what we're going to do is yeah what we're going to do is we're just going to place blocks wherever it's connecting Okay. Okay, like that. Okay, so that's essentially it. Now that when I step on this, you have all five coming up, and you can actually pick which ones you want to come up or not. So this corresponds to down, this corresponds to up. So I only want two coming up, and there you go, only two came up. I can actually have none coming up, except this one, which does nothing. And that's essentially it. Now again... I'm going to start showing you what is and what isn't going to be happening. On this side, over here, over here, see that there's a pressure plate here. And because of that pressure plate, we don't need to actually do anything to the middle one over here because it automatically comes up because of the butt switch. Okay, so what's going to be happening with that is that everything in the middle over here is just going to be removed, inc including everything. So just basically... Just basically, don't build this middle row. Don't place any redstone. And see, there's still connections. So what you still want to do is still be placing blocks. Like that. But you don't actually... Yeah, you don't really need it. See here. 
okay and now with the side with the three it's gonna still be having this redstone that's that's still gonna be having that but the only difference is I mean, I'm just building this to show you what it should be looking like when you're done okay okay it's not a three side Oh. okay then what you want to do is just actually yeah, I'm just showing you what to build right now okay so now the side that has three just isn't going to have these things it's just not going to have anything on the sides because there's nothing over there break the blocks just don't break the pistons you want to keep the pistons okay you don't need these outer things as well okay and the side with the three this is what's gonna look like it's the same thing it just doesn't have the outer ones and that side over there as I said earlier just doesn't have this middle one and that's just about everything I want to get covered in this in this video guys um yeah so anyway my name has been Lefko. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.